Hi, this is Ashley Eckstein, voice of Ahsoka Tano, and thank you for listening to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Hey, hey, and welcome back to the Super Awesome Geek Show. Today we are at Tate's Comics and Toys, and check this out. We're going to start out with the new thing hanging on the wall here at Tate's. It's a giant Ahsoka Tano head. I mean, this thing is massive, and it is freaking incredible. Here we go. It's right above the cool Star Wars vintage cabinet. This thing is always a delight to look at. We've got Star Wars figures ranging from the first 12 all the way up to some of the last 17. Stormtrooper, Darth Vader, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Han Solo, C-3PO, the original R2-D2. Every time I see 3 po and R2, I just want to buy them all up. Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker, Chewbacca, the Sand People, Death Squad Commander, Luke X-Wing, R5-D4, none of them are Red Bar, Power Droid, our favorite Hammerhead, Walrus Man, Snaggletooth, Greedo, we got the Death Star Droid, Boba Fett, the Hoth Rebel Commander, or Hoth Rebel Soldier, Han Solo in Hoth gear, FX-7, look at that, that's a beautiful one there, some Snow Troopers, Bosk, there's a really mint Bosk there. IG-88, Luke Skywalker Bespin Outfit, Princess Leia Bespin Outfit, Lando Calrissian, as you first saw him, with and without the smile. We've got both variants there. A Bespin Guard, Ugnaught, Princess Leia Hoth, the Hoth Rebel Commander, there he is, 2-1-B and Lobot, the Imperial Star Destroyer Commander, Dengar. We got uh, AT-AT Driver, Han Solo from Bespin. The AT-AT uh, Commander, TIE Fighter Pilot. Twin Pod Cloud Car Pilot, Zuckus Forlom. The, another um, guard, Bespin Security Guard. General Nadine. Nainum, Bib Fortuna, Weequay, Lando in the Skiff Guard outfit, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, Kevin O'Pace, Luke Skywalker, Jedi Knight, Boosh, Princess Leia's Boosh, Reese, Squidhead, Klaatu, Gamorrean Guard, and the Endor Rebel Trooper, Chief Chirpa, Low Grey, Biker Scout, the Emperor's Royal Guard, the Emperor himself, the ATST driver, prune face, um, yep, that guy, <laughs> Princess Leia from Endor, <laughs> the B-wing pilot, Klaatu on the skiff, Nikto 8D8, uh, Ranker Keeper and Anakin Skywalker, Tebow, was that Tebow? No, that wasn't Tebow, was it? That was Tebow, right? Yeah, that was Tebow. Some play sets are in here. I don't know if you get the figures with the play sets. I don't know. Here's another cabinet here at Tate's. Yeah, that was Tebow, right? Yeah. The gray one? The gray Ewok with the stripes? It's Tebow, right? Some busts. The lightsaber. That's from Galaxy's Edge, that lightsaber. Some more busts. My feet glowing in the window or reflecting in the window. Yoda's? What? Now this is the Yoda I think that's coming to me. My brother bought it for my birthday. And this one I've never seen. I need to, I need to check that one out. Effont Man. I really, really, really want an Effont Man. He's, he's like on the top of the list of my want list. Um, just can't pick him up today. I got a limited budget for today and I don't just want to buy one thing. I want to get a couple. Snow speeder with some figures here. That's a cool snow speeder. I think I have that one. The clone battle pack back there. There's the original snow speeder. Some salacious crumb. Still in the baggies. ATST. 
with a pilot. I wonder if these pilots and figures come with these things when you buy them. If he just throws them in. The Wampa. Hoth Wampa. Cool. And here's the box. The pink. I have the pink box also. I think there was a blue sky box and a pink sky box. And I, I have the pink sky. Jabba the Hutt in, with the box. Nay Jabba no bother. <laughs> Isayoto. <laughs> Really cool. The Dewback with a Stormtrooper. Yeah, with Stormy, it says. And we have the Imperial Troop Transport. A Tauntaun with the box. Reins are split and was repaired with tape, does it say? Land of the Jawas, action playset. With the box. Look at that. Look at that. Loose figure. Loose playset. And here's some doodads in the corner. Ula. Some Black Series and some Disney. The Disney Metal figures. There's a vintage Darth Vader die-cast TIE Fighter here on card. $400. Amazing. Wow. Some Black Series. 501st type. I guess they are all 501st, aren't they? And Lu and uh, Obi-Wan back there. We've got a High Republic comic pack with um, two figures in it. And there's another one back there. With two figures in it. And then we have the uh, Dr. Aphra pack with the two droids. Four pack of the re-release figures from 1995. Bomar Monk. Mail away. It was Mail Away. I've got a couple of those. Some still in the Mail Away box. Land Speeder. There's a loot. There's a Ben Kenobi. I wonder why he's only three hundred dollars. I wonder what's wrong with that one. On a Star Wars card back, he should be more than three hundred dollars. Uh, so maybe he's opened. Squidhead. Tebow. Yeah, Tebow. See, I knew it was Tebow. I knew it. <laughs> they just. My brain was just delayed. B wing pilot. And here's the Tauntaun. There's uh, some Force figures, and there's a uh, the trailer for the um, episode one in there. So now I know about what my trailer's worth. I have a trailer for the special edition of Star Wars: A New Hope. So. Um, but my, it's probably worth about the same amount as that one. And my trailer's in the same thing. It's just sitting there like that. I need to get it in a case or something. Just like this one needs to be in a case. Vintage collection figures. These are probably all original ones. Um, there's the uh, set from the Senate. Way up above... He's got a boxed Empire Strikes Back um, troop transport, a Rancor, TIE Fighter, original Star Wars TIE Fighter. And then we've got Endor's Ewok Village, the Rebel Transport, and another Jabba the Hutt way up there. That Jabba could very well be still sealed. And that's a really nice looking box from I can tell down here. These are way up by the ceiling. They're like super high up there. I'm zoomed way in to get these shots. We got a B-Wing here with a Return of the Jedi box. Empire Strikes Back box Slave 1. And we have the Imperial Shuttle. Wow. Holy cow. Look at that thing. 
You don't know how much I would love to have a shuttle again. I stupidly got rid of... I had a shell. It wasn't anything. It wasn't... It was just the shell. And I was talked into letting it go. And I, I really shouldn't have. Because I could have bought parts for it and slowly built it back up. It's probably the only vehicle I really need. I think I've got almost all of the vehicles. Some AT-ATs here. I think that's the 95 AT-AT. -AT. The one above is the original. TIE Fighter in the Trilogy box. I'd like to get this one. 80 bucks isn't that bad. There's some really cool stuff on this rack here. There's a nice snow speeder. This would be awesome. The Episode 1 Attack of the... Or Episode 2, right? Attack of the Clones, Geonosis, Battle Arena. This thing would be incredible to have. That is so awesome. Um, got a nice X-Wing here. We've got some great stuff here. I want one of these ATTEs or whatever there are, you know, Clone Wars things. Clone Wars Walkers. There's a Star Destroyer th playset there. I don't have the Star Destroyer playset. That's what I need. This Hoth thing is cool. Vintage Collection B-Wing Fighter. Another X-Wing from that Clone Wars era. One seventy-five. That would be cool to have. What else we got around here? Oh, this is neat. The episode one Darth Maul and Obi-Wan battle. Some more land speeders. He's got two of these Yodas running around here. I don't think I have this one. But neither one of them work, and I'm wondering what they did originally. So many carded figures! I just love this room. It's incredible. I love seeing the red card, green card, and all the Episode 1 stuff. There's the uh, Inner Space Star Trek. We've got some Playmates 5-inch figures here. Locutus Guinan. Locutus Worf. And Captain Kirk. Nice. I love seeing Playmates. Some of the Galoob figures. We got Worf here. There's a Riker back there. Uh, Data, Tasha Yar, more wharfs. Yeah, I don't see a Jordy or anyone else. Hmm. Got the big play set. I've got all the figures from that set, but I don't have the cardboard anymore. An Enterprise up in the box. We've got the, the Micro Machine ones. Some Toy Biz Marvel hanging here. That's pretty cool to see. Love the Toy Biz Marvel. I'm glad there's stuff here at Tate's to represent. All the way up to 2099. Good stuff. Good stuff. And up here we got a Doc Samson. Now this is Marvel Legends. I think this was also still Toy Biz when they upped it to Marvel Legends. This one has Fin Fang, fin -fang Foom build a figure. Which is incredible. I mean, like, if you can get all the f stuff to build him, Fin Fang Foom is, like, was one of the figures to have. We got a G.I. Joe Blanca. We've got some uh, other Mortal Kombat figures here. In the larger size. Street Fighter. There's some original superpowers here. The Joker. Power Action Mallet. <laughs> That's really cool. And Lex Luthor. Even though the packaging is a little damaged, these would be just incredible to have. That Joker is a consideration. 
You don't see him that often. Wow. We got an Exo Squad Robotech. The Zentradi Tactical Battle Pod. This is one that I, I own in my collection. I'm very happy to have it. I love this thing. And uh, it's cool to see one at Tate's with the box. It's about the same one as I paid for mine like 10 years ago. So that's <laughs> that's interesting. Did I pay too much 10 years ago? Or has the price just stagnated? No one cares about Robocop, so it hasn't gone up. We got these Flash Gordon figures, which interests me. The Phantom. Oh, he's supposed to go down here, sorry. Uh, Ming the Merciless. These are really cool. These, these look fantastic. Power Stars. Oh, and Thun. Thun the Lion Man. Prince Thun. Love them. And then we have also some hero hacks. Ming the Merciless. These are more like 3.75 inch figures. Flash Gordon from the show. From the cartoon. And then we got Flash Gordon from the movie. As uh, Sam played him, right? We got a Jane Porter and Tarzan from Hero Hacks. Those are great. And there's a Phantom with Hero the Horse. Really cool. I really like these figures. They look great. Prince Baron. Knight of Accord. Sigurd the Traveler. And Knight of Asperity. These are really cool. In the Transformer section, we got a few items hanging here loose. Various bits and baubles that you can get if you need some parts or just some loose figures. Pretty cool. Oh, wow. We got some... The uh, Dinobots are in those boxes there next to Cobra Commander. And here we go. We have Boulder Hill from Mask. $350 for the complete Boulder Hill with the figures. So there you go, Rum. Salacious Rum was telling me he wants a Boulder Hill. Get it right there. I'll mail it to you. <laughs> Top spin in the box. Ultra Magnus. Bumblebee. We got some Omega Supreme. I never knew that this little red thing was supposed to be in the tip of that. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen that. I don't remember that as a kid either. So much so that I. I'm, I'm almost questioning if that really goes with it. Because <laughs> I, I don't know. Trypticon, Scorponok. I've had a couple Scorponok shells, just the body shell through the years. But I always end up selling it because... I don't know. I don't feel like finding the parts for Scorponok. Some smaller bots here. And we got a Devastator. Some Insecticon. Venom, right? That was like a Series 2, I think, or whatever. Insecticon. Some Grimlocks. Trail Breaker. And we got Hoist down there. Looks like they're missing some parts. Second version of uh, Snarl, the red version. I, I want the original Snarl. I, I wouldn't mind having him. 
some mini bots and stuff in here. Huffer, Brawn, Wind Charger. Pretty cool. There's a Prowl without the top. Star Scream. And look at this awesome, like, is it a Megatron version of, of, uh, What is it, Preda King? Yeah, Preda King, Megatron, one of those. Reflector, Refractor, they call them here. This must be the re release one. I've got these guys somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. Got that Trypticon. There's the Ark back there. And this is the ultimate one, the the Dinobots that form Volcanus that were up in those that those boxes up above come with these. Just look how cool this looks. This is incredible. Just unbelievable how good this is. But it comes with a hefty price tag. But yeah, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Here's the aerial bots from the com Combiners, right? Combiner Wars, right? Um, I've got this thing. And this is the Titans uh, Siege. Um, Fortress Maximus. He's got to be sitting down in order to go in the cabinet. He can't stand up. I've got two of those. I bought them at uh, Ross for like $40 each. <laughs> got a He-Man stuff, some uh, Dino... Or are these from Jurassic Park dinosaurs? Cops uh, in the box, original, sealed, never been opened, never been been touched. So uh, a lot of good stuff up there. Rock Lords vehicles. Again, I don't think those Rock Lords things have been touched. Uh, beautiful stuff. It's been here forever, though. I, I think I've been recording those for the last like ten videos. <laughs> Um, Lone Ranger and Tano, and then we've got some, um, figures here from, what were these again, Spiral, Spiral Zone, yeah, I don't remember this stuff, Spiral Zone, but they look cool, He-Man, Master of the Universe, there's some packaged, or you got the box back your board with the figures here. And then you've got some generic guys up front. Generic 80s toys. I don't know what they are, but they look cool. They look neat. He-Man, He-Man. We got the, a boxed Battle Ram. We got Tila, King Randor, and Snout Spout. And then we've got all these various He-Mans and Skeletors on their respective route mounts, like Battle Cat and Panthor. And I'm guessing you get the both figures, the cat and the figure for those prices. We've got a Master of the Universe thing there. I think that's from the movie era. Or the uh, second series era, maybe the space ones. Some MASH figures back there. A Mask uh, Volcano. And here's Meltar from the Inhumanoids. Inhumanoids, Inhumanoids. The evil that lives within. So, $200. And he's not broken, Dino. <laughs> he's not broken. This one's perfect. G.I. <laughs> Joe. Real American hero. G.I. Joe is there. Sky Shark. The silver one. Pretty cool. Some more Ambassadors of the Universe figures down here. That's cool. We've got a Castle Grey Skull, another one. So he's got two Castle Grey Skulls in this place. Oh, the uh, he's got a couple of these. Attack track, right? Yeah, I want an attack track. I need one of those. I need an attack track. I'd love to get one. Um, Snake Mountain. <laughs> Snake Mountain. 
I wouldn't mind a better Wind Raider. Mine's a little, little beat up, but it was super cheap, so. But I wouldn't mind a better one. Hmm. Pretty cool. G.I. Joe action figures. Look at this. Look at this alley viper. What? Looks great. Wow. There's some good figures in here. There's Bazooka. A snavers in the Snake Eyes. Ozone, right? Um, version of Storm Shadow. Pretty cool. These guys you don't see that often at all. There's Wild Bill with the blue suit with the Look at these guys. You don't see them in the wild at all. These never show up. That's just incredible. An Astro Vipers. Uh, some Snake Eyes. Stalker. Cool. Rock A rock and roll there. Is that another version of Footloose? That might be like a Tiger Force Footloose. Python Patrol Viper. Oh, there's some good figures here. Another Storm Shadow. Repeater. Zanzibar. Techna Viper. Crystal Ball. One of the Cobra Law. Jinx. I love Jinx. Jinx is awesome. Sneak Peek. Crazy Legs. Psych Out. Some good figures here. Shipwreck. A Televiper. Tomox and Zamot. The Lamprey. Got the Dreadnoughts. Hawk. Dialtone, Leatherneck, Iceberg, Sci-Fi, Wetsuit, uh, Mainframe, Lift Ticket, Slipstream, right? Monkey Wrench, Z Xandar, Footloose, uh, Alpine, Airtight, Wild Weasel, Cobra Commander, hood Hooded Cobra Commander, Scrap Iron, Blowtorch, Rakondo, Mutton Junkyard, Wild Bill, Ace, Doc, is this a Grunt, Snow Job, the original Cobra Commander, and then we have um, Clutch and Breaker. Pretty cool. That's awesome. Loose bagged figures here. We've got some Jurassic Park dinosaurs. Um... I was tempted on some of this stuff. We got a, a snowman of of Hook Mountain. Yeah, I was really tempted on some of these dress original Jurassic Park dinosaurs. I mean, a lot of He-Man guys here. Oh, here's a white ninja from Rambo, right? Then we have some, I don't know who this guy is. That's a guy from Chuck Norris. Here's King Randor without all his stuff, but still a Chuck Norris figure. Sectars. Rambo. Here's a Rambo figure. That's cool. He's got some gear. Not bad. Jurassic Park. Wow. Oh, these are from uh, either Lone Ranger or the um, Zoro line. Here's Robocop. That's what I've been looking for, some Robocop figures. I'll have to ask if there's any more. Robin Hood, Mask. He goes to the Condor. Slide from reaction. <laughs> a, um, 
Battlestar Galactica, the little dogs. Centurions. I don't know what those are down there. Tales from the Crypt Keeper. There's a giant, like, 18-inch Arnold Schwarzenegger from Commando. Wow. That's cool. Hot Wheels. Some red original Redline stuff. Cops and Crooks there. The Got some uh, Thundercats. Thunder, 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 Thundercats. I need Rotaro. I need that guy. Thunder, 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 Thundercats. Rock Lords. I need that gold one on the right. I need more Rock Lords. <laughs> and here's another version of Volcanus. And we have, ooh, some AM Radio Coke and an ALF thing. Hasbro pins. Those look like they're from the 80s. The original Thundercats Thunder Tank or whatever it is. Right? That's cool. 180 bucks though. Wow. Pirates of Dark Water there. There's some Silver Hawks. Silver Hawks. Yeah, here's the Cops and Crooks. Cops and then it was Cops in Crooks. <laughs> Got some sealed ones there. The snowman of Hook Mountain and what's it, Hachiman? I need Hachiman also. Some uh, Bionic Six figures here. Po Legions of Power. He's got two of those, and some Bionic Six vehicles. The one on the bottom, the Bionic 6 dirt bike is cool. I really like that motorcycle. That looks awesome. I found in the 90s, we went up to Canada and we found all of the Bionic 6 still on card in clearance at a Toys R Us in St. Catharines, Canada. And um, we, cleared the sh we cleared it out. I mean, there was like five or six of each figure and they were like $2 each on clearance. And we bought them all, brought them back to the States, and carded even back in the 90s. I sold them for around $50 each and made a buttload of money off them. But then today, I wish I still had them. You know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like, damn it, I should have just kept all those. <laughs> These things caught my eye. Chilling tales. Ghostly weird stories. I like this one the best. Their reaction Super 7 figures, Black Cat Mysteries, and we've got Baffling Mysteries. Interesting. Well, there we go. Thanks a lot, guys. Um, let's, let's take a look at what I picked up. So I grabbed from, well, here's, here's where Tate's is. This is Tate's Comics. They're North University in Lauder Hill, Florida. So if you see anything you want, there you go. I paid $46 for this pile of cool figures. And I got uh, G.I. Joe with the three. He's got the three missiles, the launcher, the uh, thing that goes around his neck, and the bullets. He's just missing his knife. So I'll have to pick up a knife somewhere. And then we got, um, I think he's Headhunter from Robocop. And he's complete. That's everything that comes with him. This guy has a special feature on his back where you can load caps into it and then the caps fire off. There you go. And then I got this guy from Rambo. He's really cool. He's got some special feature that lets his uh, helmet move up and down. We'll get to that in a second here. Coleco did this line of Rambo figures, and this is a character called Turbo. And you flip this helmet back, and then Turbo had an action feature where you click a button and the helmet rises up. Now, my turbo isn't supposed to have a green strap like this. It's supposed to be two gray bullet straps. And then he's got a machine gun 
and I think a knife or something that I'm gonna have to track down. So he's he's got a couple parts to track down, but that's that's okay. And then back blast there, like I said, I think he's missing his knife, the GI Joe guy. He's uh, back blast, but I think that's the only thing he's missing is the knife. So we'll track that. The red missiles are hard to find. So when I saw him in the cabinet with the red missiles still there, I had to grab it because I know you can't find those missiles. <laughs> the knife might be equally hard, so we'll we'll see. And then uh, Headhunter, I think his name is Headhunter. He, uh, he looks complete to me from the pictures I've seen, so... Cool. Really neat. I'm excited to have all three of these figures and to pick them up for a decent price. That was really cool. And I had a great time at Tate's today. Let me know what you think about it. What's the what's your favorite thing at Tate's? What did you enjoy taking a look at? And uh, what, do you, what do you like most of the three pickups? G.I. Joe, Rambo, and Robocop. Let me know which one you like the best. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Keep those comments coming in, and uh, I'll talk to you on the next one. Stay awesome out there, everybody. See you.